President Bukola Saraki, Damsi or Progressive Congress APC, Kora State Governor Prophet Ahmed also follow suit. And court stops the state chief judge from swearing in Kalista Tekenze as the new deputy governor of Imo State. And thanks for joining in everyone. This is Politics Today live on Channel Television. I'm sure Kim Aloye in Lagos. It is less than 200 days to the general elections. The drama and defection, impeachment, and failed attempt to impeach are all indications of an interesting turn of events leading to the election year. So let's tell you the latest the breaking news that we're following for you right now is the Senate President Bukola Saraki has dumped the ruling of Progressive Congress APC. He made the announcement on his uh, official Twitter handle today the tweet reads and i quote it says i wish to inform nigerians that after extensive consultations i have decided to take my leave of the all progressive congress apc a state governor abufata hamed inquirer has also left the apc to join the pdp a statement signed by a senior special assistant on media and communications dr muidin akrede says and i quote following consultations and in response to calls by major stakeholders in the state I have moved to the PDP as APC can no longer serve as a platform for achieving the aspirations and expectations of my people. End of quote. We have updates on that latest coming on the issues of defection of Nigeria's number three man and the governor of Kora State. But first, let's give you some other political stories we are following for you. The unrest that trailed the APC Congress's in Kwara State appears not to be over yet, even with the appointment of a caretaker committee by the national leadership of the party. Protesters led by Mr. Taiwo Awodiji stormed the headquarters of the APC earlier in the day, carrying placards and asking the National Executive Council of the APC to expel Senator Bukola Saraki and the governor of Kwara State. Number one of them, again, is the expulsion of... Some staff of the Benue State House of Assembly say they have been chased out of the assembly complex by the police. Clerk of the State Assembly, Mr. Torese Agena, raised the alarm while briefing journalists in Makodi on what they say has been intimidation by the police. The special advisor to the governor on security matters, Mr. Paul Hemba, who confirmed the continued occupation of the assembly complex, says the commission of police on his way to Abuja confirmed to him that the directive to close down the assembly came from the top and can only be rescinded by his superiors. He told me the order is from above. And this to me is the harassment, one that is too many. Ahead of the 2019 general election and preparations for party primaries sometime in September this year, no less than eight politicians have indicated interest in contesting the Kaduna state governorship seat on the platform of the PDP. The aspirants say their aspiration is born of the fact that the current APC administration in the state has failed to meet the yearnings and expectations of the people of Kaduna State. The PDP secretariat in the state capital has come back to life in the past three weeks as the aspirants troop in with their supporters to make their intention known to the party leadership ahead of the primaries.